Hey guys, so today we're going to make uh, headdresses, uh, like essentially Alice bands, uh, sort of, to build off uh, avant-garde hair, things like that. You can also use it for like carnival headdresses if you just want to, or if, you know, if you're going to a festival or something and you want to make like a headpiece, but essentially I use it for sometimes making like, uh, like avant-garde hair or show hair, things like that. Um, should point out that uh, at this point that uh, We Creatures, Mia from We Creatures actually taught me how to do this. We Creatures are a, a theatre company, interactive theatre company based in London and Brighton. Um, they also have a shop which sells like horns and uh, crazy dresses and things like that. Um, and yeah, basically she taught me how to do this in the first place. Um, she was teaching me for a different reason, but I, I, I just, as I was watch, doing it, I sort of thought I can apply this to hair and we can you know you can make uh, headpieces like this as well so i mean this is not always the best idea there's always ways to make things and everyone's got different ways of doing things and this is just one way of doing something if you if you've got something like a hairpiece if you've got something in mind that you want to be able to take on and off someone's head this is a really good way of doing it and it's really versatile as well um i used it just a few weeks ago to make uh this um which was for a hair show um, and I once read that or heard someone told me I'm not sure but basically with avant-garde hair it's just all about the illusion and um, I, I had this on the model's head and I had all the hair coming out of here and then coming back over the top of it and I had people like all day saying to me like um, you know like how did you get all the sticks inside the model's hair and, and I was like well you know I didn't and I thought it was fairly obvious, but uh, you know that's that's exactly what you're going for with that kind of thing. You know, it's the illusion that you did get the sticks in the hair or, or whatever you've built on this headpiece. So, this is what we're going to make today. Anyway, it's the base of this, and I mean, I made this, but you can make literally anything you want. Um, it, I, I've, I've built, say, like a headdress before, which had like feathers sticking up and then uh, extra kind of bars coming off it that I plaited onto and things like that. So that. And, and, and the interesting thing is that they're two completely different headdresses, but they come from exactly the same base. Um, I don't actually have the one anymore to show you how I sold it, but um, yeah, they were two com completely different designs, but they came from exactly the same base, which just goes to show like how versatile the base can be. Anyway, moving on, you're going to need a few things before you start. Essentially, everything is built out of galvanized wire, uh, galvanized steel wire, I think this is two millimeters thick, you can get it in just about any hardware center, uh, it's really cheap, um, it costs like two pounds for like 10 meters and you get so much, you, you, you don't need half of what you get, not even, yeah, so you, that's really cheap. And it's also not very heavy, it's quite heavy when you hold it like this, but once you, you don't need much to make a headdress, so it's not heavy, which is handy, I mean my models would probably complain, but <laughs> if they could hear this, but it, overall it's quite a light way to start the base and it's strong as well and importantly it's very flexible so you can build it onto this which is the second thing you need, which is a block this young lady's been through the wars a little bit but uh, should be alright uh, you can build it onto this and then you, you don't have to worry too much about the fit because you can bend it so easily that once you've built it and it and you, you, if you away from your model, you can build it away from your model and then put it onto her head. And if it's not quite fitting, you can bend it around to shape it to her head better. Um, I had a problem with it being too small last time. You can just bend it out, and it's suddenly it's bigger and it fits. Um, so yeah, galvanized steel wire from hardware shop. You need some pliers to cut it with because it's pretty brutal stuff, and some duct tape of all things. And finally, you want to get some ribbon. Um, now the ribbon is just comes at the end. You don't. This is brown because my last model's hair was very, very dark brown, almost black. You want to get ribbon that essentially um, this is just going to help it blend into the hair a little bit. I mean, you're probably going to pull the hair over it. That's kind of the, the deal. Is that once it's on the head, you pull the hair over the wire, you can't see it. But just get some ribbon just to help cover that up a little bit. And also, it, I don't think it probably does anything for comfort, but psychologically, I think probably if you approach a model with a headdress that's covered in nice ribbon as opposed to a galvanized steel headdress it just looks a little bit less terrifying so it's, it's really not a bad idea to get some ribbon say if you're doing a blonde hair obviously you don't want brown um, 
So the start, basically, it's, it's really slapdash, it's really like ugly, actually. Uh, it's, you don't have to worry about precision. What we want to do first things first is make uh, like the top, which is essentially an Alice band. Um, you just come around by the ears, uh, bend it back around. Like I say, it's pretty ugly. Because uh, you, you shape it afterwards, so it's so flexible. You, all we're trying to do here is just get like a length that we need, like the length of wire we need to cut. So, yeah, start off with one ear, bend it around to the next ear, come back around, that's about right. It's, it's not like, you know, measured very well, but it doesn't need to be. That's, that's kind of the good thing about this, is it is quite slapdash. So then you've got that. I mean, you know, what, what's that all about? <laughs> now, you, you kind of the, the gem of the fact that it's the wire comes into it, because it's really flexible. And now you shape it to the actual head, now you've got a piece that's as long as you need. So what you're doing is just, it's, you're not even pressing it onto the head really, it's just, just getting roughly. And that's roughly the shape you want really. Uh, so it's just going from ear to ear, like a, in, in a U shape, and, and that's, that's really it. And actually this sticks up at the back of it, you'll probably find that that will happen a lot, where the top will be, the back one will be a little bit higher than the front one, but that, that, that's actually what you want. So that's fine. This is a bit long. It's overlap there. That's so that's fine. Say so this is it's really slap dash. So just cut the extra bit off because we don't need that. And then we grab your duct tape. And then these are going everywhere. Uh, probably should have like you know if I was a professional, got my like piece of duct tape out of the way at the start. But no. So get your piece of duct tape. Excuse me, whilst I pick that off the floor. Uh, get your piece of duct tape, and then you literally just wrap that round, uh, just to cover the kind of sharp bits and hold it together. It's again here. You don't have to worry too much about holding it, holding it together. In, I mean, duct tape is really strong anyway, so you're going to be all right. But this actually isn't really. We're going to use the ribbon later, and that will like kind of spur the support to hold it all together. So you don't have to worry too much about this, you know, really holding it. But it, it will hold it anyway because duct tape rock. So now you've got your headband there essentially, uh, and that's really it. But we're gonna there's the, you do more to it, but but that's essentially it. That's that that's that, and that fits, you know. The model's head, brilliant. It also fits my head, brilliant. Uh, I'm sure I look dashing. Uh, and it's, so now that's pretty secure on my head. So the second thing you want to do now, probably you're going to be building off onto it. And probably you've got to think of the weight um, and balance. And you think about your model more than likely going to be walking around with this on our head. So you want to add a support. Now, I always, I think I'll turn it around actually. See, it's really flexible, like in that sense that it fits better on me now if I turn it the opposite way. And now it's fitting quite well, so I'll, I'll, wear, I'll do it that way around. Um, essentially, what you want is it going around the just below the occipital, like uh, just to keep it a bit more secure. So we'll make that again, just wang it on her head, bless her, she loves it. And then with this bit, you want to go piece of wire that will go round the back, you just crack it off there, that's about right, goes everywhere, Super cool. uh, just crack it off at the back like that and then bend it round so that it fits, but now with the pliers just take them and just bend two L, like L shapes like that like there and there, uh, and then that's what we're going to use to, that's how we're going to secure it with the duct tape. So that will sit there and onto there, and then this piece here will come down, sit under the occipital, and that will just give us a bit more secure. So we'll get out rid of her for a sec, she can go a little chill in the corner. I'll quickly wang the eggs on. See, the thing is, is like, I'm doing this in a quite a rushed way because obviously I don't want to like waste forever of your time. 
But it's even if you're paying attention, it, it's you don't have to really. It's it's not. It's what I quite like about it is you don't have to be precise at all. You just smash it all together because you're not going to see it. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to do a job, and it and it does it. So that's yeah. One of the beauties of doing it, this, like using this technique to make a headdress. So now, once this one's on, essentially that's it. That's that's your base. Now, anything else you want to build off of this is going to be up to you. So that's that that's that's your base there, like ugly as you like, but it's not going anywhere. You know, like, like now that's tight on my head there and there, probably a little bit too tight to be fair, but I can just bend it out. It's a bit tight here, see I can feel it's tight here, this is what you'll probably find with your model. Like they'll be like, oh it's a bit tight here, it's a bit tight there, because it's just galvanised wire and you've just bent it, you'll find that it's obviously not perfect and people's heads are funny shapes and all sorts. But the great thing is you just pull it like that and it's not tight anymore, so it's alright. But you've got that piece there below the occipital there, so that's really, it really isn't going to go anywhere if you when you're wearing it. I'm sure I look very dashing with it on. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then you really past this point, it's kind of up to you. Uh, when I built this one, uh, it's a bit knackered now because I had to cut it off the model's head with a pair of pliers at the end of the night because uh, it wouldn't come off. But I built. I can't really see, but I built three uh, struts just coming off here, here, and here, and that's where I started building the sticks from. Um, the one I did before using this technique, uh, I put some struts going across like here, here, and here just for support, uh, which I did the same way as you do this essentially, but just across between the front and the back one, and then that just supports it so it won't bend. So it won't bend, um, and then I built like big semicircles coming off of these which were then platted onto um, so really it's up to you now where you go from it like you need to think how your design is going to work with this or how this is going to work with your design um, and yeah really anything past this point it's, it's kind of up to you but that's so this is just the base and you can just you can just build of it as much as you like uh, you can build like I uh, I've cut it off of that now, but that had uh, in the right side here it had chicken wire coming off of it that I just glue gunned on. Um, uh, so yeah, you can do quite a lot from that base. It looks like there's nothing there, which is really what we're going for because you cover it with hair. But it's like a, a really solid foundation to build whatever you want from. The last stage, I say, is just, uh, I'm not actually going to wrap it all up because it takes a bit of time, really, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, so you want a glue gun, so you need a glue gun, just like, essentially, tie it round, add a little bit of glue there, and then you just wrap the ribbon all the way around, round and round and round, uh, this is making a right state, but you just wrap it round because it's really long, I didn't cut it. But yeah, basically just wrap it round and round and round and round and round and round, 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 round uh, until you reach the end. And that, I, if I just do it from here, you'll kind of get the effect. Just wrap it like that, basically, all the way round. Keep it quite tight, but you know, don't stress about it too much because you're not gonna see it, so don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, so you just wrap it all the way round like that and cover the whole headdress in ribbon like that and that will uh, essentially just say comfort I'm not sure maybe it'll do something oh my cat's come into play brilliant proper professional here cat <laughs> uh, uh, yeah you just wrap it around uh, and say comfort uh, maybe it'll do something with comfort it might make it a little bit softer it might make those edges and the rough bits where on the duct tape a little bit softer but Really, that's probably a psychological thing to not freak out your model. Um, and also, it really does help to hide it in the hair, which is actually probably the main reason you want to do that. But that's essentially that. That's how you build those headpieces. It's just an idea. It's pretty basic, um, but it works. So I think my cat wants to be like, 
on the internet or something. Um, it, it yeah, it works and it's quite handy. Uh, so you know, best of luck. Go nuts. Make whatever you want. Uh, say. I went from that to that, so it just goes to show you what you can sort of build from on these, and yeah, it's more or less anything really. So yeah, that's how I make headpieces for avant-garde hair. Good luck.